Good morning everyone. Today we have decided to delve into one of the hidden treasures of Bradford. That's right, today we are in the UK's well-known Sunday market right here in Bradford. This place is super busy every Sunday and it is open from 9am to 5pm. Situated outside Great Horn Road in the area of BD7, this cultural hub has everything to offer. Come along as I walk through the hidden gem and see what's on offer. We're now in Canimals. Look how busy it is. It's 10 a.m. There's parking everywhere. Just make your own parking. I'm going to vlog what Canimals looks like. It's Sunday. The weather's very warm. There have been two coaches up at the road who have come from different cities and they are coming to Canimals as well. So, yeah, I thought it wouldn't be this busy at this time, but I guess it's warming up as you can see people are coming. It's so busy today. They're going down to the entrance. I'm going to show you what they have to offer. They have quite a few market stalls open. And then they've got some food stalls. I don't think cars come here. Well, hopefully they shouldn't because I don't want to get run over. Um, but yeah. First stall opening is this tissue stall for your toilet roll needs. But yeah, it's really good price to be fair. I would definitely recommend to put the cannibal to get your toilet roll. They have quite a good few offers on. We have a fairground here. Wow, it is really busy today. This is where they're selling mangoes. Got quite a variety of them. Got clothes, they've got fresh homemade coffee, which I had last week. Just going to follow. Wow, this is where they're making food, it looks like. Got a barbecue set up, sweet corn, water. Here we've got a bedding place, duvets, bed covers, these big winter blankets. I feel like there's everything in this place. These are the markets, so like this is one market and they'll have loads of them broken down. Stop is this scarf place. Selling lots of scarves. I will insert the price of the scarf, but got quite a lot of variety. Lots of loose thread. Stop going up. Zips. Lots of zips. More threads. We are currently going upwards. This is another market. I think we're going to go inside this one. Market three. These are what the indoor markets look like. Clothes. I think that's vegetable. Maybe it's not. Sweet. Bags. More bags. Bangles. Jewelry. Wow. Kids. Coat. Household utensils. Let's see what they have here. Lighter. Lighter. Pink bushes. Karais. Oh, look, they've got pistol and markings. Not everything. Got a wedding suit. Wow. Wedding suits. Look at the Lots of specs. Look at these. Got a wedding stock up there. So, uh, grandma style cardigans and grandpas all the way around. Got nice dresses. Got a shoe shop over here. Wow, this looks nice. So, I got some sweets. Now we're going out of this market. That was eventful. Now we're going to the next market. 
but this feels like a full day trip out. Don't think that you can spend 30 minutes in Canada because it'll take you 30 minutes to get into the car park. You need a good few hours here. Got a toy section, market number six. They even got Pakistani stools. Oh, they've got Moroccan dishes. Here we have food vans. There's a lot of food vans that provide food here. And they'll just be uh, plotted around. One thing I have to say is hard to walk because everything's covered. So just make sure you have good shoes when coming. Not sure what they're making. Wow, look at these kids' clothes. Looks like they've Interesting. Very good. Looks like we're going. Doing a walk through. Stop and give way. Oh, that's a Looks like we've got a pull and chop jumbo. Well. So £10 the large, £5 the small, you can have whichever one you want, okay? But just a quick and easy and a simple way to do all those little jobs, guys, right? Dead easy and dead simple. Looks like we found the fruit people. That's the exit point. Let's go see what that place has to do. Slash bubble tea. Suitcases, that's where I need to go. I need a suitcase. Got more fabrics, big fat watermelons. Gosh, it's super busy. Gosh, food line cut. In this shop, they have quite a few stuff.
This is like a walkthrough. More than a vlog. It's too busy to vlog in this place. Like maybe if you come in the winter, it won't be as busy. But it only comes once a week. So it's like, it's gonna be busy. We probably went through like a quarter of it. We didn't even go through like, I think there's about eight, nine markets. We only went through one, two. And even the outside parts, we didn't go through all of them. Yeah. We've got some big flags here. Just don't want to pop off. Oh, look, there's Imran Khan. Pakistani desi ko le A few places I really need to go to. Here's lots of toilet roll. This is back where we started. We're going through entrance exit one. And there's two to three different exits. Now we've got to go find our car. Gosh. How busy the park is. And it looks like everyone on Sunday has decided to come. Those coaches are probably going to leave soon. Probably like in a few hours. I don't know what time Cannibal's closes. But yeah. It's been a good day. It's been very hot. One thing that I find very awkward is people stare at you when you vlog, which is a bit strange. I guess it's normal, but I don't think I'm just used to it yet. Don't know what he just did there. I would. Wow, it's boiling everybody. It is really warm. Oh. So, yeah, guys, welcome to Bradford. I hope that is all pebble and stones because, like, trying to bring your car up here, like, this smash glass there is very hard. But trying to find your car once you've parked it is even harder because it's make your own lanes here. Like, there's no lines to say where you can park or where you can't. So obviously he's just parked in the middle of nowhere, but yeah. Oh well. Imagine coming here in the winter. I don't think it'd be as busy. I need to make a winter vlog for cannibals. I should call this the summer vlog. Gosh, we're walking from the bottom to the top. Walking down is easy. Walking up is not as easy. 